Walter, you read my mind. You should be really proud of yourself, Nomza. It's going to be one heck of a school. Yeah, everyone has helped. I wonder how that new super vet, Lewis, is settling in at Mara. Mm. Nomza saw him in town the other day. She said he was a uh, dishy. <laughs> dishy? <laughs> I think it's an old Zulu word. <laughs> oh, I better help the lads with the cement. <laughs> we are, we are. Uh, Speaking English, eh? Let the kind old man rest me. The boys can carry the cement. I may not be in the first flush of youth, but I can still carry a bag of cement. <laughs> Thanks to Dizzy. Now he's going to be pretending he's 20 all day. Hmm. On the other hand. <laughs> ah. oh. oh, don't listen to him, he's just after sympathy. Ah. All right, Mr. Blixen, there's nothing to it. I'll just get you into position, and all you need to do is pull the trigger. And if you look through here, you'll see your laser sight, yeah? Oh, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. We don't hunt at Mara. Green hunting. Fantastic. Lewis picks an animal he was going to treat in dark yeah. anyway. It's just the guest pulls the trigger. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I'm telling you now. And you're absolutely sure this is completely legal? I mean, if this gets us into any trouble... It won't. The animal gets treated, the guest gets a thrill of a lifetime, and we get some extra rand in the bank. Max actually said that. He's gonna sell the bar. He needs the money. Patani, <sighs> I've left all my notes on the kitchen table. Now, if there's anything you don't understand, ask an officer. Are you really going to let Duplessis organise the honeymoon for And you? if there's anything she doesn't understand, phone me. It's a bloody disgrace. That, you know, you don't actually have to put the kitchen sink in. It's just a saying. Not your horrible rucksack. The warthog had its litter. And you've really no idea where he's taking you. Patani, are you listening to me? Oh, come on, woman. Get in the car while there's still some room left. He could take you to an army reunion or beer festival Patani! or something. Patani! Yes, Caroline. I'm entrusting the guest side of the business to you. Now, please tell me you're going to cope. It's, it's, it's a great honour and a great responsibility, and I won't let you down. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Right, you horrible little man. Where are you taking me? Manhattan? Milan? You have to wait and see. Oh, there are some bullets in the rifle cabinet. Just put me out of misery. Oh. Let me take a look at you first. Oh. Well, you shouldn't have been lumping around great bags of cement at your age. What do you mean, at my age? Um, I mean, you're our beloved and venerable leader. Good save. Paul. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll come back later. Oh, no, no, no. It's not what it seems. <laughs> it couldn't be further from what it seems. He did his back in carrying bags of cement. You have to be careful. Yeah, my old dad put his back out round about your age. He never really recovered. Can we help you, Vanessa? Things are going to change around here. Never again will we be shamed in defeat. Caroline asked me to rejig things here a little to maximize who? You, the workforce. Are you finished? I've got laundry to wash your laundry. Our watchword will be efficiency and discipline. That's two weights. Caroline and Dup are going to be gone for a while, so while they're gone, we're going to have to cover each other, OK? All your jobs and chores are detailed here. Danny and Alice will take their turns on the game drive, and I'll help you in the kitchen, Mum Nimsa. Happy days. Our new guests will be here any time now. So if there's any questions, yes? When do Caroline and Dup get back? Enough, Anders. Where are you taking me? On our honeymoon. Don't be flippant. Is it going to involve creepy crawlies? Hard to say. Or beer? Please tell me it isn't going to involve a lot of hairy men drinking beer. Caroline, a marriage is about trust. 
Rowan's point is they were always going to be darted. We just get a, a guest to do it and then plough the money back into the veterinary side of the business. No, see, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. Well, this was Rowan's idea. A man who's been in Africa five minutes, may I remind you. Our new vet, Lewis, had the idea in the first place. So. He came here for my advice, Vanessa. This is it. Commerce and animals don't mix. What's he like? He's only out of college a few years, but he's got an amazing CV already. <laughs> My dad's back made him grumpy too. <laughs> Would you like me to come over and check things out just for myself? Thank you. Yeah. Now, will the patient survive without me? What do you mean? I'm coming with you. Oh! Where's Alice? She's on the whiteboard. Hi. Welcome to Leopard's Den. My colleague, Mum Nomsa, will show you to your rooms. <laughs> At 11.15 precisely, <laughs> we'll meet back here where, where Alice, our esteemed vet, will give you a personal and memorable first drive into the bush, okay? I oh, see so you got your bags this way, please, sir. Okay, come on, sir. Oh, uh, honey, this is Africa. Nice and warm. Excuse me, do I know you? No, 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 I, I don't think so. Oh. How are you feeling? I think you missed a pothole back there. Welcome. I thought it would be good to show Danny and Alice what we're up to. Of course. Always keen to tell the neighbours our business. You should start with telling me. This is our wonderful new vet, Lewis. Uh, Danny and Alice are the vets over at Leopard's Den. Oh, oh. oh. what happened to you? Oh. And who are you? My sister, Alice. Oh. Nice to meet you. Yeah, oh, we're taking a guest on the green hunt. Why don't you tag along? Green hunt? Oh. Oh, well, you know, one of those old school vets who don't like change. No, I didn't say that. My concern. Oh, looking is... good, Mr. Blixen. You're set. Amateurs starting animals. There's still the potential stress, possible mistakes. We'll all go in the one vehicle. Oh, sorry, Donny. Danny. Oh, well, we're going over some rough terrain in your back, so not up to. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll go. Donny. <laughs> Stay with me, Danny. I'll get us some tea. Huh? Tea? Yeah. Just the fuck that didn't bring the luggage, won't you? Ah, this. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, nothing too good for my life. <laughs> when I saw you doing your normal scarecrow impression, you had me worried. I must admit. It's just my little ruse. I must be costing a fortune. Don't you worry about that, Caroline. You just enjoy yourself. All right. Two for duplicity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's Alice? I'm sorry, I couldn't find her anyway. I've got two trucks and only one driver. Me! Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thanks. Tell her who you are. That was a deal. Remember, incognito. What, checking in under my maiden name? Lying, it's ridiculous. Fuck Danny. Keep an eye on that man. I'm sure I know him from somewhere. Know him from where, Mum Nosa? I don't know. Find out. Right. We're all going to have to squash up in one car. The glories of the push await you. Let's go. Duplicide, I'm afraid there's no record. They must be. I'd be more than happy to make some calls for you. There are some very pleasant little hotels in the city. They may even be more to your taste. Duplessis, bridal suite. Ha, huh. bridal suite. Huh. This is my bride. And indeed, my suite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was expecting someone younger. My mistake. Yes, it was, wasn't it? There's still some lead left in this old pencil china. <coughs> Could we have an impression of your credit card, please, Mr. Duplessis? I don't believe in credit cards.
It's got a synthetic covered barrel, a shrouded manometer. Oh, you've got to love a shrouded manometer, eh? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm an enthusiast. I can't help it. I just... I don't want to end up like your old boss back then. I'd change the subject if I were you, Lewis. My old boss is a better vet than you'll ever be. Told you. Where is this animal? The big old zebra of the rotten tooth, Mr. Blixen. Just waiting out there for you. I hear there's a bar in town. A fancy drink one night? My old boss wouldn't like that. They're a couple. <laughs> Look, white lion. Beautiful, isn't she? A rare colour mutation of Panthera Leo. Purchased at great expense six months ago. You know, some of the locals... Imagine showing that to the boys in the bar. Everything OK at Leopard's Den? Dupes taking Caroline on their honeymoon, so divorce papers will be served next week, I'd imagine. <laughs> And you and Alice? Everything okay? Everything's fine. Why do you... No, I just, just wondered what it's like for her, you know, being stuck out in the bush with the kids. I know what that's like. Well, she doesn't feel that she's stuck out here. She loves it. In fact, the only thing Alice would like to improve would be a relationship with her brother. Rowan. Yeah, wouldn't we all? I thought I noticed a bit of tension in the air. Yeah, I guess just sometimes I have to remind him who's the captain and who's the crew. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hurt himself. So was this your idea? Me and Lewis together. He just forgot to tell Vanessa about it. She's very sensitive about keeping the neighbours happy. More sensitive than I am. No, Danny's right. Why can't people just sit and watch a beautiful creature in its wild habitat? I feel the need to shoot it. Because it's exciting. Just because Danny's forgotten what it's like to have an adrenaline rush. <laughs> The last thing I said to Dope was fix the damn clutch. Was that too much to ask for? Was it? But still, it's still a lovely day. It's a lovely river. I mean, you can still see the elephants, can't you? Ah, oh. oh, how nice. Just kidding. <laughs> Come on. Let's get a rope on her. There uh, should be enough of us to pull her out. Everything's under control, ladies and gentlemen. Don't tell him what the river's called. What's it called? Crocodile River. Are you sure you're okay? I'm absolutely fine. So what did you make of the green hunting then? Uh, it was interesting. Well, you know, I'm not saying I agree with it, but well, I can see why guests would get excited. It was guilt-free hunting. Think we should do it? No, I didn't say that. Eh? You know, at Leopard's Den we offer a, a different experience. Which is what? Uh, well, we're small. A bit and scruffy and a bit shabby and a bit out of date, a bit old. Oh, I didn't say that either. What about Lewis? He only went and asked me out. What did you say? I'm going to meet him next Tuesday. Well, you don't mind, do you? <laughs> Joke! I knew that. <laughs> yeah. But why would I want a fresh new wine when I have a mature vintage of my very own? Hmm? Huh. Oh. Ah, oh. You've never been here before, you say? Oh, that should hold. I hope you're feeling strong. Uh, Taylor, you called it Crocodile River. It was just a joke. An amazing coincidence, because that's its name. There must be a thousand Crocodile Rivers in Africa. Right, everybody grab the rope. You, start the engine. You see, the really amazing... Th oh. Thing is that only the locals call it that. Ah. We didn't come here to pull trucks out of rivers. It's time, Taylor. Let's pull! That's why we're here. You know it, and I know it. Oh. Yeah. So maybe I should buy some new clothes. I, I feel a bit out of place. Nonsense. These prices, you can wear what you jolly well like. Can I help you? 
Oh, um, actually, we're looking for the pool. Oh, this way, ma'am. Thank you. It's a strange route. This is lovely. Hello! Hey! Here, you can practice yourself. Oh, Mom! <laughs> hey, Hansi. What have you got for me? Well, what do you need? Never got your order form this week. Oh, Duplessis. You ask him to do one little thing. Is he on his honeymoon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What did that poor woman ever do? <laughs> I'll go and ask Danny if he needs anything. Great. Mom! Be back in a minute. <sighs> Danny? Yes? Hans is here. He wants to know if you need anything. Tell him I'll be right there. Ah. He's just coming. Uh. Oh, you've been busy. Uh, mostly that young vet over at Mora. You met him? Uh, yes, I have. Ah, how's it, Nancy? Ah, Danny. <laughs> hey, so, what have you got? Now, I'm low on the uh, tetanus vaccination. It's that time of year again. Isn't that one of the tiny shirts? No. Uh, well, uh, oh, that was numbs. There was a mix-up with... What's that? Ah, Shh. brand new out of the factory. Multifunction patient monitor. Oh, do, do you mind? No, of course. A multi-lead simultaneous ECG monitoring, hmm? networky capability, and a 15-inch high-res flat panel display. <whistles> yeah, I was just taking it over to Mora. Lewis wanted to look at it. He hasn't got one. No, no, my friend. This one is the first one south of the Limpopo. We'll take it. Danny. On trial. Oh. We've got perfectly good vital signs monitor. Which you have to keep tapping every time it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. That doesn't mean <laughs> you oh, we'll won't try it. Great. <laughs> Well, listen. Why don't I leave you to this? And, and I'll be down in the bar when you finish your dinner. Because it's our honeymoon and I want us to do everything together. Of course. We could go bowling. Men of your generation never learned to pamper themselves. Just relax and give yourself up to the pleasure. Good morning. I'm Lisa. Are we all ready? Yes, we are. My colleague will be here shortly. My, uh, my, my husband is a little nervous. No, I'm not. You've got Charlene. She's an absolute marvel. Charlene? Mm -hmm. Mr. Duplissi. Uh, uh, but I booked with Lisa and Charlene. The manager said Charlene was off sick. But I saw her in reception 20 minutes ago. It doesn't matter, dear. I think I know what's going on here. Give her it! Ah, well, bloody matters to me! Ah, I'm sorry, you can't borrow a leopard's den vehicle for personal use. I wouldn't ask if I wasn't desperate. I'm sorry. I, I promise, I'll bring it back. No. I've come across vets like Danny before. Old school. Legends. He certainly thinks he's a legend. <laughs> yeah, but if you don't keep up to date with technology, you're dead. Shane. Sorry it didn't work out. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. That white line mess we saw. What about her? Any chance I could doubt her? I told my friends I'm coming here. I just need a picture of me or something special. Sorry, my friend. That is a very rare and precious animal. I'm willing to pay a premium. Well, it's not about that. If anything no, was to hang on, hang on. I'm going to have to chip her at some stage. Why? Well, like you said, she's rare and valuable. Oh, unless you need to check with your missus first. I don't have to check with anyone. Yeah, well. That gas is just taking the car. Follow 
I am now. But I'm gone, so I'm timetable to do something now. You didn't just get that because Lewis asked me out, did you? Of course not. How petty and paranoid do you think I am? Why are the instructions for these things always written by unintelligent androids? You promise? Saw myself today as Lewis must have seen me. And how's that? Gnarly old pro, outdated, outmoded, in the way of progress. <laughs> Oh, listen to yourself. You have one little spasm of back pain and you become old father time. Am I holding leopards then back? No, don't Maybe be we should modernise, get some new ideas in that'd generate oh. some money. That'd be novel. And is that why you're wearing Vitani's t shirt? I can't get it off. It's back. Scalpel. What do you want that for? Try not to breathe. Why? Hello, Fatani. Hey, just going for a stroll. Never open a detective agency. All right. Look, man. You've got Nomsa all fired up. Who are you? Well, make yourself useful. Show me where this house is. It's all, it's all different now. Yeah, I could show you. Why? My mother lives there. I knew it! You are from around here. Remember your breathing. Nice and easy. Alright, You've got a clear sight. Got it! Damn it, man! It bounced out! It won't be enough dragging us to bring it down. What do we do now? We do it properly. Go, 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 go. I always wanted to move out of this place. My parents begged and borrowed enough money to send me to London. Where I did a degree in electrical engineering. Ah, oh, that's quite an achievement. Uh, at first, I couldn't afford to come home. Mm. And then I, I just didn't want to. And, and what about your parents? I mean, well, my dad was very sick. I mean, they tried to get a hold of me. Newly married, new address. The man died, and I didn't even know he was sick. Sure, so you never came back? Here it is. Look, man, you can't run away from your past forever. You're starting to sound like my wife. Sorry. David! No, what do you want? How is she? I'm not good. You're hardly surprised. She's pumped full of metatomidine. Can I get my photo? What the hell? Get in the van! What is it? The reversal agent isn't kicking in. What are you telling me? I am losing her. Let us Dan come in. Let us Dan. What are you doing? Getting some experience. Wait, I don't need to be wet nurse. Let us Dan come in. You turned your back on this family a long time ago. I just want to see my mother. You mean nothing to my mother. Hey. You mean nothing. Now at least have a decency to leave us in peace. Go.
Want to get a beer? What's the problem? Alice, come give me a hand. What have you given her? Metadomidine and ketamine. How much? Five mils and six mils. That's almost twice the dose for her size. Mm. What about the antidote? I've given everything I've got. It's bacon hot. Did you take that into consideration? Well, she ran for a while before she dropped. Well, what were you thinking? Can you save her? Danny. Check her vitals. I'll get the antagonist. I don't need you, you to You get be... between me and that animal's welfare. I'll knock you into the middle of next week. Understand? What happened to this place? When I was a kid, this was always hopping. Yeah, the owner's in Cape Town now. He's actually selling it. Let's get some music going. Ah, that thing hasn't worked in months. Forget about it. Let's have a look. Voila! What? How did you do that? I grew up in a squatter camp, which was illegal. Ah. I used to plug us into the national grid, powered up the entire community. Oh, yeah? They used to call me Umbai, the flesh. Well, in that case, can you fix the fridge? The beers are warm. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. I'd like to book a table for dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. We're fully booked. Now, we both know that's not true. Look. Try and see this from my point of view. And what point of view is that? People pay a lot of money to dine here. The last thing they need to see is... My husband? Well, yes. His clothes, his singing in the bar, his talking loudly to the other guests. It's called being alive. Now, I'm going to ask you once more. I'd like to book a table for this evening. No. You'd be welcome, madam, but your husband... He's ten times the man you'll ever be. A thousand times. Well... We certainly hope that you'll both be very happy together, Mrs. Duplessis. Just a long way from here. You arrogant little snob. Perhaps it would be better for all parties if you left the hotel, madam. Now. I wouldn't give you the pleasure, you jumped up little twit. In fact, I'm going to wash my husband's pants in the bath and hang them up in the foyer. Just in that first pen there. Come on, quick as you can. If she wakes up, we're all in trouble. If she wakes up, it's going to be a medical. That's it, right? All right. Now, set her down just here, gently. There we go. There we go. Thank you. What can I do? You can get that new monitor up and working. Whoa, this is state of the art. Where'd you get it from? Just do it. Not too clever. How did this happen? Why were you hunting a white lioness? We'll discuss it later. Yes, we will. I've been watching you, Patani. You have? Yeah. Cheers. You remind me of my younger self. Talented, but restless. I thought we were talking about you. You're not happy at Leopard's Den. You're good, but you're not happy. I thought I could change it, you know? Make things more efficient. But it's not mine to change. And find something that is. I've always wanted to have my own business. It's true. I just never found the right opportunity, you know? Pulse is very low. I blame you for this. Oh no, not now, please. The generator will kick in. She stopped breathing. Right, I'll ventilate her manually. The generator hasn't kicked in. Yeah, we noticed that. Just get out of my way. Alice! No, this is your fault. It's all your fault. Okay. Chip gone in. Will one of you go outside and see to the generator, please? We can't work like this. You really think I could do it? Run my own bar? Oh, what's stopping you? This place, I guess. 
Leopards then took me in when they kicked me out of Mara. I couldn't let them down. Well, it's your call. Where's the generator? Caviar for two. That's right. And a bottle of your very finest champagne. Uh, actually, make that two bottles. My husband's thirsty. What's going on? I think it would be better for all parties if you left the hotel now. That's what he said. Well, who said? That revolting manager looking down his nose at you as if you were something the cat dragged in. Is that all? I'm used to it. Well, I'm not. I think you might find that gown belongs to the hotel. You did all this for me because you knew I'd like the posh hotel and the lovely clothes and the spa. Well, I know you like that kind of thing. Well, it makes me feel rather shallow. Shallow and silly. There's nothing wrong with shallow. I'll prove to you there's more to me than meets the eye. What are you going to do? No one looks down on my husband. Give me your hand. Who is that? That, that is Umbani. The flash. Yeah, you the man, you money. Yeah, yeah, you the man. I can't believe we're doing a runner. I just wish I could see that pompous little man's face. <laughs> Next time you decide to do a duck, back a little lighter, won't you? I feel so alive. I didn't know I was marrying a fugitive. Oi! Oi, oi, oi! Don't mess with Bunny and Clark, China! Please! Stop! Yes! Hello, I don't know which of you to thank for this, but thank you. A white lion. My heart stopped beating. Oh, come on, girl. Keep fighting. Come on. Adrenaline? Yeah, straight into the heart. She's dying. There's nothing else anyone can do. Scalpel. Scalpel? I'm gonna massage the heart manually. Enough, man. Let her go. That's not the way we do things around here. Swab. And scalpel. How's she looking? Her lungs have collapsed. You've got to keep breathing for her. If when I'd started, someone had told me that one day I would have a lion's heart in my hand, I think I'd have become a postman. Liar. Come on. Come on. I don't believe it. <laughs> Keep the pressure up, Alice. This is the last stitch. And... There we go. Is she going to survive? Ask me again in 12 hours. That was, um, awesome. Not bad for an old school vet, eh? Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a nice cold beer. Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, do you need me here? No, I'm fine. Well, Lewis, stay and have a beer. Uh, I don't think so. Morning. 
Hi, how's your back? Good. How's the patient? Come and see. You know, you don't get much more low-tech than massaging an animal's heart with your bare hands. I do believe you did it, Mr. Trevani. Couldn't have done it without my glamorous assistant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Brother survived the night. Hmm. Now, with any luck, Vanessa will have him stuffed and mounted above the bar. Life is going to change around here. If you have any more ideas that impact upon this business, you run them by me first. Vanessa. Look, you're bright, you're bright, and you have brought so much energy tomorrow, and I appreciate it, I do, but you're also new, and you know nothing about wild animals or how to handle You're right. Don't run until you can walk. There'll be no more hunting on this land, green or otherwise. Fair enough. You know, if it weren't for Danny and Alice, you would have been the cause of a magnificent animal's death. I know. If I had a sister like Alice, I'd be very proud. Oh, Lewis, I wanted to see you. Yeah. You're fired. <sighs> Namza, you look amazing. We are opening a new school building in the township. I'd like you to be my guests. Thanks, Namza, but it won't be possible, I'm afraid. Why not? Well, we're, we're leaving this morning. I now know who you are. You used to bring dead cars to life. Yes, well, um, that was a long time ago. Fatani told me what happened. Your mother... Never knew I was here. Give me a word. It's your news to tell, not mine. But running away is not... not... running away, Namsa. We're, we're going home. You are home. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to drive? Of course. Okay. Uh-oh. You meant to be on your honeymoon. <laughs> Thought of you lot destroying our business. Completely put us of our sea breed with sizzle ginger and spring honey. <laughs> Is everything okay? Everything's perfect. <gasps> Fatani, did you manage to kill any of our guests? Only the one. But we told him to stay away from the lions. No. <laughs> Actually, Caroline, if I could have... He did more. very well. I've heard nothing but praise from the guests. Oh, thank you, but darling. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Anders and I have had a talk, and you and I are going to have to talk about improving your position here. Uh, Why are you dressed up like a dog's breakfast? At the school opening. Of course. Oh, let me get into a frock. Anders, I... will you give me a hand? With complete pleasure. <laughs> and what he had, please. How is she? She looks pretty good. Oh, she's wonderful. You helped to do that. I don't think so. Yes, you did. And that's why I love you, because you are a brilliant man. You just need to remember where it all started. I think we should start. Caroline, could I have a minute? Thank, Thank you, children. Caroline. My, My dear, dear friends, friends neighbors, neighbors, this is a great day. <laughs> a lot of hard work has, has gone, gone into, into this school, where our, our children, children will learn. I'd like, like to thank everyone at Leopard's Den for their hard work. work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she says, How's the old man's bank? <laughs> it's absolutely fine, thank you. Caroline, I must talk no, to you. We would like to thank Mara for their very generous check. Yeah. And most of all, I'd like to thank ourselves because we were very good indeed. And this community has needed this new school building for... No. 
til. Det er okay. Mom. I'll understand if you don't want me. I want to spoil this day. It's... And Dad... My son... You are home. <laughs> David. Mom, I want you to meet my wife. Julie, this is my mother. Hello. Oh, a great day. <laughs> Carola, how was the honeymoon? It made me really appreciate that it was Dan for Tommy. Actually, I've had some very interesting ideas. I want to leave. What? I know, I know, Caroline. You know, you, you've been kind and, and loyal to me, but Leopard's Den will always be Leopard's Den no matter what I do, you know, which is fine because that's probably the way you want it. And but uh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> I've had this dream of running my own business, Caroline, and I've spoken to Max in Cape Town, and he thinks Of that... course. Of course what? Yes, of course you must run the bar. I think you'd be marvellous at it. You do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you put my wife down. Vitaly's going to take over the bar. Oh, the... the bar? Yes. Max's bar? Yes. <laughs> oh, Vitaly. Yes. You know, you... You have always been like a son to us. <laughs> Alice, Danny, thank you for what you did. That's what neighbours are for. Sorry I messed up, Alice. Apology accepted. And I'm really proud of you. Really proud. And now that Lewis has left us, uh, we'll be needing new vets. And uh, we wondered if they might be you. When do we start? Mm. <laughs> Here's to... Reconciliation? Reconciliation. Reconciliation. <laughs> 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 Beautiful models, right here, at Mara. Rowan has bought a tiger. A tiger, in Africa. Have some more. Ooh! <laughs> Thought you were in trouble. You clearly are now. <laughs> we're always on call, you know that. No, you are. That tiger will pay for itself. Lying to your sister Rowan is dangerous. What Alice doesn't know won't hurt her. <laughs> 